Hey, thanks again for joining me for our Friday Daily Devotion as we come to a conclusion of our week and look forward to starting another uh, just beautiful uh, celebration in our Lord on Sunday for our services. Today, I thought we could look at a scripture passage that I used actually just this past week for our chapel services. Uh, we are actually able to have our opening chapels for our preschool students. And uh, the verse that we have for today, super simple for them to be able to understand and to learn, and it should be the exact same for us. Uh, the verse comes from John chapter 8, and it's verse 12. When Jesus spoke again to the people, he said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. So I asked the kids uh, this last week, you know, have any of you ever been afraid of the dark before? And almost every single hand went up. And you've been there before too. Times when maybe you can't see correctly and so you don't know what's there and so you're afraid. Maybe times when you do see things, uh, a shadow or something is a, a child and it creates this fictitious monster in your head and you become scared. All of us have been there before when we become scared of something that we can see or maybe scared of something that we cannot see. We tend to have this, this fear that comes in the darkness. But Jesus tells us in our scripture today that he is the light of the world. That in the midst of that darkness, he comes to be able to illuminate all things. That the darkness can no longer hide. That he is able to be able to shed light on it, to show it for what it really is, and to be able to be there for us. So this morning, uh, one of the families from the preschool is coming in. Uh, they dropped their son and daughter off, and the mom was walking outside. And the mom said, hey, last night, my daughter said that Pastor Jeremy said she could sleep with a flashlight because it would scare away the darkness. I hope all of us can take this word to heart uh, just as that uh, little one did, to be able to know that we have this great amazing uh, God that has come to this earth for us to do just that. Whenever we are in fear, we can have the confidence of knowing that the light of Christ penetrates all things, that it is able to overcome anything, no matter how dark a time in our life may seem now or in the future. Please recall that moment, not just today, but every day in your lives. Let's pray. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, we thank you for the blessing that you have given to us in your Son. Uh, we ask, Lord, that he will continue to be the light of all things in our life, not just in our dark moments, but also in those that we are celebrating or just the normal every single uh, minute and day periods of our lives that we walk through, knowing that you are always there for us and that you always will be there for us. We thank you for the gift of your Son and ask that we will continue to be able to share this gift of light with others. In his name we pray. Amen. Again, thank you for this time together, and uh, we hope to see you on Sunday.